a child, it's like, you have this, we're treating you for this, and 24 hours you're in the hospital. And so suddenly it's really hard because you've landed in the hospital, all this stuff is coming at you, and you're just trying to process the fact that your son has cancer. And then about the treatment and the choices, and um, I just remember it being really overwhelming and having a difficult time understanding. When they told me Bennett would miss, like, five months of school, I did not believe them. I was in total denial, you know? Um, and so I think, you know, that beginning journey for people who don't know what that's like, understand um, that everything is taken from you, you know? And you are literally living day to day. I understood that I had cancer. Mm -hmm. I couldn't really wrap my head around the whole idea of what what cancer and what, you know, the possibility of death quite was because I never really experienced that in my yeah. life yet. Yeah. So people think, oh, you're done with treatment, but you're never really done because of the treatment they've been given. It puts him at higher risk for certain things. Um, and so we'll always need to be vigilant. Um, and I think that's something that people don't really understand that it's, it's the treatment's done, but the care will be the rest of his life. There is a greater need for research. There is a greater need for support for these children. Um, the resources is growing, but it needs to be better. Stand up and find a cure.